The New York City Council is to step closer to replacing Rikers Island with smaller borough-based jails. Yesterday, a subcommittee voted to shut down the prison system, and today the plan goes to the full city council. CBS News' Rena Roy live in front of City Hall with more on this. Rena. Well, Chris and Mary, it has certainly been a controversial plan, and it's been in the works for years. And today is the day the big decision will finally be made whether or not to close Rikers after, as you said, a subcommittee gave the green light yesterday. We vote today on a plan to close Rikers Island. The vote was five to one to close Rikers by 2026, replacing the facility with four borough-based jails in Brooklyn, Queens, Lower Manhattan, and the Bronx. Advocates of the plan say the smaller facilities will encourage rehabilitation by moving inmates closer to their families and attorneys. So I got real sentimental hearing the votes, knowing that um, justice is being served. While former Rikers Island inmate Harvey Murphy was happy to hear the news, others outside City Hall, not so much. Something is wrong that we're pushing this through and disregarding the voices of New Yorkers when it comes to building borough-based jails, as well as if we want to correct the criminal justice system, then let's fix the criminal justice system and be honest and true of us correcting that system and not blaming on the brick and mortar of Rikers Island. Councilmember Inez Barron brought the only no vote, saying she supports the closure, but not borough-based jails. The community boards in all four neighborhoods where the jails would be are also against it. It's still a jail. It's not identifying or correcting the issue of blacks and Latinos being incarcerated and detained at a rate far greater than others. Even those who voted yes say this won't come without consequence. There are people in my community that I've worked very hard for for many years that are angry with me because I am voting yes on this. But I feel that I am doing the right thing, the most humane thing that I can possibly do. $8.7 billion will go towards the new jails, but only contain a total of 3,300 beds, with the current population of roughly 7,200 inmates. What do you do if crime already at historic lows doesn't drop by like 50% again, such that you only need 3,300 beds um, in a city with 8.5 million people? And the vote is scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon. 26 city council members will have to vote yes in order for this measure to pass. We're live outside City Hall this morning. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. Rena, thank you.